What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again, and sorry I haven't been doing so much video content lately on the YouTubes. Um, I've been away on holiday, which was great. I was gone for a week, I don't know those who know. Uh, but just remember, I do still stream on Twitch as well. Uh, usually Tuesday to Friday, I had to think about that for a minute, because sometimes I do Mondays as well. Usually Tuesday to Friday night, 7pm UK time, and um, we happen to be live right now. If you want to check us out, collecting some cakes over at the anniversary for Dead by Daylight, would love to have you. But today, this is more of just a... I'm not going to put this down as a Gims rant, just sort of a sharing of thoughts, uh, my overall opinions of the game right now. Uh, my expectations, maybe I'll talk a little bit about that, but also sort of what's to come as well and what I think that means for the game. But um, I want to talk about just this last year. I, I think that's a good start. Um, and let's let's go to the old DVD screen here. We started with the dredge at the last anniversary. We, you know, we're talking about a original chapter here at this point, you know, and there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Although I would argue that that's always going to be less impactful than a license, um, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, we've seen how big anniversaries can be in the past. I mean, Nemesis and, and Pyramid Head. I mean, it was all it was all really good stuff. But um, alas, we got the dredge. And the dredge is cool. Um, I, I think survivors have definitely got his number. I think once you understand the dredge, I think... Um, it's, it can be very hard. Um, I'm not saying that there's people out there that don't destroy with him, but I definitely would say that it's a hard going time with him. And it's sometimes just a little bit sort of a, he, I put him in a bracket of like a lot of effort with no reward sort of thing. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. Then we got the Wesker, the Wesker. Um, and I think a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people talking about how hated he is and how bored people are of seeing him, but I think it's really hard to deny this, that he's one of the best built killers in the game, probably the most fair for high tier as well killers in the game. It's intuitive gameplay, you know, not when it's like some of the things that, you know, I've seen that people can do with him is kind of ridiculous, but I do think that he was really good for this game and I overall really enjoy playing him, seeing him and uh, maybe not every game, but um, I do think he was a fine addition to this game. And I would say that he was probably, in terms of numbers, definitely the most successful chapter in all of last year's, you know, all the DLCs, everything that came into the game. Um, and I think he's the strongest killer out of the group as well, obviously. Um, and I think he's still, in my opinion, a better chapter than Dredge was, even though I have a special place for Dredge. But I'm not going to keep talking about Wesker. Then we get into these three, man. And for me, this is where, I mean, you went from the highs... Right? You went to the highs, to the absolute lows, in my opinion. I think the night is simply just boring to play. Uh, just lacks sort of any... I, I mean, he doesn't lack... He doesn't lack ideas. He has an idea, but it's a very copy-paste, plaster, boring idea. I just don't enjoy using his power, creating soldiers and then moving them on, uh, zoning them out, I guess. It's it's very... It, it's just not... It just never clicked with me and that could be a me issue and that's totally fine but for whatever reason i just couldn't get behind the big fella um as cool as he actually looks aesthetically i don't think anyone's going to argue um i do think the stupid hair through the the normal helmet though is a little bit I, I just i've never agreed with that i think that just looks silly um but you know put some other cosmetics on and uh <laughs> get rid of that silly helmet and i think he's all right um, but yeah, I just, I wasn't feeling him for whatever reason. I'm still not feeling him. I hardly ever play him unless it's requested. Um, and then we continue on. Wow. I mean, I had a bit of fun with her. I'm not going to lie. I actually did. I even got some cosmetics, as you can see. Little pieces here and there. But the Skull Karen... It did not hold my interest for long. I think the overall concept and original idea of her, I think, is tragic to say the least. Um, I, I, I don't understand what they were going for with her in general. Um, extremely boring. Definitely not useless, but extremely boring character. Um, and overall and fundamentally, I think he was she was terrible for the game in terms of what she does, what she's focused on, and how she does it. And that's, of course, the three-gen strat. Everyone knows about it by now. We've all felt it. Um, the Knight and Skull Karen did not help through this uh, process. I think it just amplified that 
and uh, made the game again extremely boring for a long time. We're talking about two chapters here. It does a lot of damage to a business, that. And then we had the year seven, eight anniversary. And we got this freaking absolute conglomerate of colors and textures and all sorts. And he's supposed to be some sort of AI robot, I guess. But um, yeah, he does fall under the dredge category for me. You do a lot and you don't get a lot of return. Um, and again, I'm going to, you know, preface and say that I know that there's going to be people that absolutely destroy with him. I know there's going to be people that do really well, but for me, anytime you create a killer where the survivors are in control of your power is going to annoy people, and it's very frustrating to adapt that into sort of fun gameplay for a killer. They have tried to fix DMPs, they've tried to fix a bunch of things to make him more competent, and I still think he is quite competent, but I just... Um, I can't be asked to learn him as well, and that, that's a massive issue for me. So again, it does come from like sort of a interest level. And these last three chapters have, for me, really buzz killed this game. Um, and I just wanted to put this into a video and sort of explain that um, and why and, 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 and why they keep doing this. Um, and I know, obviously, someone's probably going to point out in the comments that, well, you need to focus on what's ahead. You got the DVD road map for uh, year eight. Uh, and obviously, yeah, we're, we're on the cusp of getting Nicolas Cage, uh, you know, as a new survivor in Tome 16. New survivor there as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully it's going to be amazing. But, you know... Is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to expect with this game anymore. Um, and then obviously August, right around the corner from that, we've got a new killer and a new survivor. We've got a Tome 17, new killer by itself, uh, new survivor by itself. I think a lot of people are thinking that these are going to be, um, uh, you know, licensed. New killer, new survivor in March of next year. You know, it's they're, they're pushing stuff along. They've got those ideas. Uh, their heads are moving, but is it going to be enough to hold our interest? Because I just think, and this is just me, but having three pretty lackluster, boring chapters in a row can destroy your reputation, can just make the game feel even more stale than we already know DVD can be. Um, pile that in with horrible metas that have come into the game over that period, uh, with horrible perks on both sides. I mean... We've seen, we've seen some of the things from the survivor side with Singularity. Um, I don't know what the name is. I can't even remember now. It's the perk that makes you walk faster as a bloody injured survivor. It's ridiculous. Um, it's just there's this, this creative thinking, thought, and accountability just aren't things that behavior really thrive on. And um, unfortunately, through this long process uh, of trying to get to new interesting content, I think a lot of us have just fallen off. And um, I've had a look at the numbers as well, at least for Steam, and it's it's not it's going down. It's it's steadily going down, slowly, but it's going down. And I'm not sure if we can use that as sort of a, an idea of where it's going to be in a couple of years, maybe a year. But it's not good for the company. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on DBD in the last year. I guess my overall thoughts. I think it might be one of the most disappointing years ever. For Dead by Daylight, I know that's pretty rough, but um, that's how I feel. I am on the lookout as well, just in the background, looking for new games to play. I'm also kind of like really weirdly looking for a multiplayer sort of competitive game. So if anyone has any recommendations or whatever, please comment down below. Let me know. You guys know I always read the comments. Also, don't forget I'm live right now. Like, share and subscribe. It really helps the YouTubes and helps me. And um, thank you so much for listening. Let us know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.